Mike, welcome. You're CEO of Renmatics, which is a newly established Philadelphia-based company. Tell me what Renmatics does, and then we'll hear about why you moved the company's headquarters from Atlanta to Philadelphia. Sure. Uh, Renmatics has a unique technology which allows us to uh, break down uh, different forms of biomass into their component sugars. And the sugars are really an attractive uh, material to capture. It allows us to then sell those sugars on to make renewable chemicals or renewable fuels. So we have a disruptive technology which is economically attractive uh, to make these sugars and I think will really enable this renewables industry. And it's certainly catching a tailwind with the uh, emphasis across the country right now on renewables. So how exciting. It is. I think our timing's right. Uh, we're thrilled about it. We're excited to be moving back to Philadelphia to kind of hub our, our location from. I think there's a lot of benefits for being here and uh, the industry itself needs this. I think we're playing an enabling role and the timing is right. So it's uh, very encouraging. So let's talk about that. You did move the company's headquarters recently from Atlanta to Philadelphia. Why did you do that? Uh, as we thought about the future for the company and where best to grow it from, uh, we were looking for a place where there was a lot of resident material science talent. Uh, and Philadelphia's really spawned the chemical industry. I, mean, I would call this greater Philadelphia area Chemical Valley, somewhat analogous to Detroit for automo automobiles and maybe Silicon Valley for semiconductors. Uh, Pennsylvania, the greater Philadelphia area, really has that heritage. Uh, and I have impressed, worked for Roman Haas, a big Philadelphia-based company, know a lot of the talent, had a lot of appreciation for the skill sets here, so I think it's going to enable us to tap that, uh, and we have a high degree of respect for what resides in the, the universities and institutions here as well, so um, I think we're going to do well acquiring talent in this space, particularly here in the greater Philadelphia area. And it's very clear to me that acquiring talent is the strategy that really you're going to build your company around. So tell me about the kind of talent you're looking for and what about the Renmatics culture makes it a good fit for certain people? Sure. Uh, the type of talent we're looking for is, uh, firstly, we're a science-based company, uh, but disruptive and entrepreneurial. So we need to blend both those skill sets, if you like, the ability to truly make a difference, but also to be grounded somewhat in, in, in appreciation for that science. Um, that said, I'll give you a profile of a couple of people who have joined us recently. Uh, typically, people come in and take a look at Renmatics and very excited about what we're trying to do for society and the benefits of what we'll bring to this renewables industry, which is very compelling. But at the same time, all of these people kind of fall in love with this, what we're trying to achieve. I think it's the style of the company, it's the leadership style we go after, uh, it's the excitement of the industry we're trying to create and the company we see as being very leading in that, in that role. And a lot of the recent hires of A, they've fallen in love with the company, so it's, there's a certain passion you want to join this company with and a desire to kind of make a difference in this space. Um, be very accomplished in their own right, just educational, past work experience, so very proven, skilled people. Uh, at the same time, want to work in a team-based environment where hierarchies don't matter. Uh, we're trying to blend a lot of what is West Coast phenomenon with East Coast skills uh, and create a work environment which really kind of allows people to flourish and be welcomed in that, in that kind of situation. So we've attracted some outstanding people. Their pedigree is, is superb. Um, they're going to make a big difference for, for Renmatics, and I think the kinds of people we need were those who will just fall in love with the company as they get to know more about it. Uh, I don't think we need to oversell Renmatics. I think once they see our new workspace in Philadelphia as well, which is exciting, great place to work. I hope my kids can work in a space like that in time. It's beautiful. Um, What's special about the space? I know that's uh, very important to you. Yeah, we, we, you know, we, we designed it from, 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 from the start. It was this old industrial building in King of Prussia. Uh, we engaged with a local architect and she was amazing. She kind of transferred our thinking into reality. Uh, it's very open. Uh, it's uh, it's non-hierarchical in terms of its workspace. Uh, very collaborative um, and uh, also very progressive. Uh, the way we configure the work, work environment, how people work, the conference rooms. Um, it's just a very airy, inspirational place, uh, which I think people have and will continue to find very uh, attractive. So I want to roll back and um, play back for you a couple of the words you've used because they're so significant, I think. You, you talk about people wanting to fall in love with the company, yeah. non-hierarchical, yeah. inspirational. This is, you are creating energy with an, an intensity of focus that is not common. And you come out of a large company environment, Roman Haas. Yeah. So this is a very um, entrepreneurial uh, dimension of your leadership style. Where did you learn that when you, grow up in, when you grew up in such a large company? Uh, Roman Haas was very entrepreneurial. Even though it was a large company, we, we ran businesses with a lot of autonomy. Uh, I had a chance to work around the world for Roman Haas in many parts of the world where we even have more autonomy. So I was just blessed with the chance to demonstrate that 
those, those skills in a company in the places of the world where really you had to be significantly entrepreneurial. Um, and so that played a big part of my, say, my upbringing, and I've always kind of enjoyed those kinds of places where you have the, you have the, the opportunity to make those decisions, are held accountable, uh, and it gives you the opportunity to really perform and show, show your, um, your potential. Um, so I was blessed with that at Roman Haas. Uh, I've since been further blessed with that because our key principal owner is Kleiner Perkins. Uh, and Kleiner Perkins, in the time I've been with uh, Ren Maddox, uh, I've learned uh, a lot around just their ability to create industries, their ability to create great companies, uh, and, and their, the inspiration on how to create great companies. And, and the key to that is all about hiring talented people. And as much as I've had success running businesses on the income statement, the cash flows, the, the financial statements, I've prided myself more on the talent hiring. And this is a chance that's been reinforced. It was, uh, it was very much a part of Roman Haas, very critical to Kleiner Perkins and all the companies they've launched. Uh, and I've just been able to kind of learn from all those experiences. And this is totally dialed into Renmatix. I mean, this is a critical part of our companies, hiring great, talented people. I can imagine that great, talented people will very much want to work for such an exciting company. I want to wish you luck as you go forward. Great. Thank you.